Hey, I'm Eric the Pond Digger. We're on location building a pond and I wanted to stop for a second and show you a couple of pond construction tips to make your life easier. What we're doing today is we're installing a back flushable waterfall system and we have a lot of lines coming in through the back. And uh, we're going to show you how we compact them so we have good compaction but you're not damaging the lines. Before we show you how to do this, I want to show you what we've done at the other end. We've uh, marked all the pipes so we can, we can concentrate on digging and we'll do the plumbing later. As you can see here, we have, we have four lines running through here. Um, sometimes all these pipes are, are, are white PVC, sometimes they're all black PVC. Um, but what we've done here is we've, we've marked each one of them. This is our filter line, this is of course our drain line, this is our air for, um, for cleaning, here's our back flush um, for washing the system out. And we've also tied in our, our low voltage line inside this trench as well. We've all ganged everything together, we dig one trench and uh, we run it over to our location where we're going to do all our filters and um, I can do this later. The cool thing about this is I can come back a week later, two weeks later, I can actually send another pond digger over here and go, hey, the lines are all stubbed up, go tackle it. Typically when we're doing tamping, we're using this big heavy tool like this. It's a little bit too aggressive for right on top of those pipes. So I'll show you a little trick that we do when we're backfilling around those. First we're going to add a little bit of soil. And then what we do is we start to tamp in here with the end of our shovel, you see. And what we can do is we can get in and around each one of those pipes and get compaction underneath them as well. Let's add a little more soil here. Once we have good compaction underneath the stuff, then we can fill soil faster and use a heavier tool for tamping it. Let's get some more soil in here. Once you're not worried about the pipes being damaged, then you can use one of these heavier tools to start tamping and get good compaction. Okay, let's fill the soil all the way up to here, guys. So here's your final construction note for the day. Um, this is mainly for contractors, but if you're a homeowner and you're going to rent a piece of equipment like this, it might do you well to uh, order a little bit of geotextile underlayment. This is the same stuff we use uh, underneath the rubber liner for protection against roots and, and sharp gravel and rock and stuff. But what we do is we lay this down in the traffic areas where we're going to be driving the bobcat back and forth. And what that does is it, it keeps the rubber from the tires staining the concrete. It's a pain in the butt to get off. You have to pressure wash and scrub it with brooms and stuff. So uh, just a little bit of extra measure in the beginning will save you a lot of time and energy. So those are your construction tips for the day. I hope it was helpful. Let me get back to work.